Hey everybody, Kim and Daryl. How are ya? RV Adventure TV. Week number one on the road, living full time in an RV. What does it cost? We just went through to look at our budget for the week to see what we did. And we'll be right back after station identification. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed that commercial break brought to you by the Grapes of Wrath. All right, week one on the road. Let's yep. break it down and kind of give you an idea of what it's going to cost to go approximately 1,500 miles. Yep, that's a long way now. Yep. And we're so, buying diesel fuel. So here's going to be the breakdown of what we spent first week on the road in RV Adventure TV. The first part was gas. Diesel. Going 1,500 miles buying diesel gas, we spent $410.36. All right, $410 on diesel, and that probably was three days of hard driving. As most of you know, I drove yeah. pretty hard to get here. Love my Texas, love my New Mexico, but not much to see that we haven't already seen, so we were in a hurry to get up here to Moab. Gas was usually running right around two dollars a gallon at this time I think the highest we paid maybe 230 something like that but that's the price of diesel and we were averaging anywhere from 10 miles a gallon to 11.5 miles a gallon uh, using Maddie uh, behind us and pulling it with the uh, Chevrolet Silverado so that's what we got it was hilly here and there we averaged 65 miles an hour uh, uh, an hour. Yeah. I didn't push it hard. I went kind of easy. So I was just taking my time. So as you can see, half of our cost for week number one is going to be fuel. And yeah, you'll find is. that out through all the videos you'll see that fuel costs, if you're going to be on the road, is going to cost you money. It depends well, on how far you're going, too. That's right. You know? So the more you drive, the higher your fuel costs. So next week, our fuel costs will be down more. We've seen it in a lot of videos. You want to stay as long as you can in a place. Because every time you're driving on the road, you're burning the, your biggest part of your budget every time. Now, this one really impresses me, though. For camping, for we've been here seven, this is a week, seven days. We've only spent $115 in camping. $115 camping. And that, that was really only two nights. Right. The rest of it was boondocking so, and Walmart so and... So as you know, we were down at Archview. We paid $115 because we didn't know where anything was here. Gave us time to figure out our boondocking places. So all that was two nights campground at uh, Archview uh, RV and Resort right off 191, right uh, on the west side of Moab. Other than that, we spent nights in uh, Walmart or we're out here boondocking at... Uh, at the Texas place. Yep. The restaurant. Yep. <laughs> We did a restaurant behind the restaurant. It was very quiet. The Great very Texas nice. Steakhouse. We spent a night there. Other than that, we're out here boondocking on uh, Willow Springs yeah. Road. And plus, we wanted to stay somewhere where we could, you know, fill up the water and dump and do everything that we could so right. that we, we could come out here and do this and save money. All right. So the next thing was? The next thing was our entertainment, which actually was two meals. We went and ate at the Big Texan Steakhouse. Very good. And we ate at this little peach tree place in Moab. Yep, so I've got a little hamburger. Yeah. We were in town, walked around, checked the town out. We thought, you know, we're out here, we're, we were camping out here doing a lot of grilling. We thought we'd just sit down and had a good, healthy, all-natural burger. Check it out. It was, it was good. Um, Mine's better. So, that's right. Because <laughs> yours is probably not as healthy Mine as these were. <laughs> All the time you get healthy, sometimes it's just not that good. But anyway, we thought we'd sit down. I took Kim for a night out, and uh, or a day out, and just bought her something. Really, she paid for herself. She has all the money. And then last but not least, Patrick, don't you laugh. We spent $88 on adult beverages. That's right. Here and in Lisa Utah. Lisa Fox Wine, okay? Yeah, Lisa, Rob, <laughs> Alan, uh, Patrick. 
and a few of you other little teetotalers out there. Uh, Utah, we're not familiar with what's going on here yet, but there's only one liquor store yeah, as far as we know liquor. in uh, Utah that we know of. We may be wrong. Again, just our in opinion. In this part. It, it was state, uh, uh, state liquor. State liquor in, in Moab off of 200 South Avenue, right on the west side of the main drag. You went in there. Their prices weren't crazy, but they weren't cheap. So anyway, we went in there, and I got the crown. I got a couple box bottles wine. of wine and, and a box wine. So we're, we're spreading that out over a time period, but sometimes you got to enjoy life also. And what was the other thing? And the only other thing was we, we knew that we were running low on propane, but we didn't want to fill up until after we got somewhere because it would just be more weight or whatever. Right. So we went ahead and did that, and it was $30.38. That, that was for like nine pounds of propane. It was like $30.50 a gallon, which is kind of uh -huh. high. But I was here in Moab. One of our, our, our 10 pound units was out, so we didn't want to have any issues with cold or needing the furnace. Because one night it did get down to, what, 31 degrees over in Cortez. So we want to make sure we had enough propane on here before we head west. So we just went ahead and knocked that out and got it on this week's budget. Yeah. But anyway, we're just trying to make it short and sweet, give you an update on what it took us to get here from uh, Louisiana to Utah. And then week two, we'll bring you week two next uh, uh, end of next week. And uh, we don't know where we're going yet. So basically, we spent eight fifty one thirty seven this week, which averages out to be one twenty one sixty two per day. So there you go, all in a nutshell, and that's everything that we've spent. Every penny, even down to a coke. So if Uncle Sam, Big Brother's watching, that's all we spent, honestly. Scouts on every honors. receipt. So all you got to do is stop the madness, start the adventure, save your money, start saving now. All that money we just spent, we saved. Catch you next time. Bye. Have a good one.